Can you teach an old blacksmith new tricks? If the answer is no, but I pull it off anyways, does that just mean I'm not as old as I think I am? Well, the trick in question is learning to juggle blacksmithing hammers. Has absolutely nothing to do with blacksmithing other than the fact that these hammers are the ones that I use here in the shop. Now you ask, why is he going to learn to juggle hammers? Well, I'm glad you asked because I was going to tell you anyways. This is something that came up in a video probably years ago. I was probably using every hammer in the shop trying to figure out which one worked best for a project and made some comment about juggling hammers. And a lot of people in the comments thought that sounded like a good idea and they wanted to see it. But I never did it and I never really intended to do it. But fast forward to 2020 and the world is in a shambles. Everything is in turmoil one way or the other. Things can be a little depressing or maybe just life gets you down. And I thought doing something fun might be appropriate. So I have set myself a goal and that is to learn to juggle three hammers, very similar hammers. I might go out of my way and actually buy three matching hammers, but they will be actual blacksmithing hammers, not some sort of a rubber prop hammer. So this could require a hard hat and steel toe shoes. The specific goal that I have set myself is to learn to juggle three hammers well enough that I can get two full rounds of juggling in. In other words, throw each hammer up twice and catch each hammer twice. So that's six throws, six catches. If I can do that before the end of 2020, I will consider this challenge a success and that I have learned a new trick. That gives me four full months to figure this out because let's face it, I'm probably not ready to actually learn to juggle any hammers quite yet. Now, I have never been a juggler unless you count trying to juggle my time to do way more things than I have any business trying to do, like learning to juggle. So that means I have to set off on the journey of learning to juggle starting as a complete and utter novice. And how does one do that? For me, of course, I started at YouTube and I did a search for learning to juggle and I found lots of videos. Bunches of those videos were learn to juggle in three minutes, learn to juggle in three hours, three days, whatever. There was always some sort of a fast path to learning to juggle, which probably isn't really the truth. I did find one channel run by Taylor Glenn. The name of the channel is Taylor Tries. And Taylor Glenn teaches various methods of juggling and travels to juggling festivals and does all that kind of stuff. And when I watched her beginner's video, she made it clear that even though the definition of juggling may be keeping the balls in motion the entire time, that the reality of juggling was dropping them and picking them back up again. Dropping is a part of it. It's a big part of it. And that sounded like just the philosophy I needed because I'm pretty sure I am not coordinated enough to do this without a lot of practice. And in this video, Taylor says, start with just one ball and just learn to throw it up and catch it back and forth. And once you get comfortable with that, then you can proceed. Unfortunately, she also says, don't use tennis balls because they're kind of light. And when you drop them, they bounce and they roll all over the place. So this being the only real ball I have in the house or anywhere that I can find, and I had to steal this one from the cats because they like to chase it around the living room. I have ordered some real juggling balls and when those get here, I'll show you what they are and explain why they're supposed to be better. But until then, I think I can get by with a tennis ball doing this and I don't have to pick it up too often. But So this is going to be my first task. Now, if I do want something heavier, and I want more than one of them because the next challenge is going to be two of them. I suppose I could go to these things. These are grinding balls from an ore mill somewhere. They probably weigh five or six pounds a piece. Very similar to this hammer. Not ready to juggle that either. Probably not the best thing to practice with because again, I probably ought to be wearing a hard hat. But if I want to get some exercise, this would be good for your grip strength and your arms and stuff like that to throw these six pound balls back and forth. Then I could try to do two. Look at that, I got it. I might be ready to progress to the next step when I get those other grinding not grinding balls, when I get those other juggling balls in. Also wonder if learning to juggle something that's got a handle might be a good intermediate step 
when I start to get around to trying the hammers because hammers are, are not balls. Dropping is a part of it. It's a big part of it. And of course, this isn't a hammer. And I may buy some juggling clubs before I get to that point just to try it out. Might be a little easier than this. Probably easier if I'm not talking to a camera too. So that is my goal, and that's the reason I'm gonna try and learn to do this, just to have some fun, just to brighten the year, hopefully brighten your day up whenever I actually get around to it. But I'll bring you along on this journey, maybe do an update once every week, two weeks, three weeks, something like that, and show you what I've learned. And if I actually get to the point that I can juggle, that in itself will be an accomplishment, even if I never do get to the point that I can juggle the hammers. Now, one thing I need to figure out because I don't think just swinging a hammer back and forth like this, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get them to cycle. They're gonna to have to spin just like I was spinning this. And this spins pretty well, it's pretty well balanced, but hammers don't spin that way. It always seems to be traveling backwards because of the out of balance part. So I'm gonna to have to figure that out and I might have to counterweight the hammers, maybe drill them and stick some lead in the back or something like that, I don't know. Of course, then they're not real blacksmithing hammers anymore, they're juggling hammers, and I don't know if I wanna do that, but I think there's some potential here. It's just gonna take quite a bit. And doing this from one hand to the other is doable. I can't imagine trying to have three of those though, doing that with three of them. But that is the challenge I have set myself and I'm giving myself to the end of the year to accomplish that. If I do it sooner than that, wonderful. I'll show it to you sooner than that. So keep an eye out. Don't just wait for New Year's Eve to find out if this works. But even if it works earlier, maybe I'll juggle hammers for New Year's Eve and play the banjo. Not at the same time, I'll alternate. But that does give me four full months to learn how to do this and hopefully it'll work. Hopefully you'll be entertained as we go along with this. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And I mean hit that like button. I shaved for this and I cut myself, so I deserve that like this time, don't you think? And if you haven't subscribed already, I would love to hit that subscribe button. Now if you'd like to see Taylor Tries juggling video, I will put a link to that right down here, so take a look over here for that video. Do something silly in life, have fun, don't let the fact that we're still dealing with the pandemic get you down, but do be safe, do wash your hands, wear that mask when you're out in public, and we'll see you for the next one.